In this presentation, we will have a look at the characteristics of a spiral dive and the recovery technique used. If we inadvertently get into one, this is most likely to happen if you fly inside cloud without having done basic instrument training. Here, we have a Cessna 172 with a fixed pitch propeller. For specific recovery technique, refer to your own pilot's operating handbook. The general symptoms of an approaching spiral dive are of the following. You will notice that we have an increase of rate of descent from our BSI. We've got an increase in airspeed. We have a rapid loss in altitude. Notice we're going to have a higher bank angles. You'll hear an increased noise from the engine and you'll experience as a pot an increase in G-load effect. In order to recover from a spiral dive, bring the power back to idle. Roll the wings level with ailerons opposite to the direction of rotation, keeping the aircraft balanced with rudder. Gently apply back pressure to ease out of the dive and raise your nose to just above the horizon. Once airspeed is within the normal operating range, reapply full power and climb to the desired altitude. This concludes our presentation of how to recover our airplane from a spiral dive.